Boys, welcome to another campus update with Inside Swoop. I'm Kaylee Snyder, here to bring you up to date with what's going on this week. With National Art Day coming up on April 15th, this week's show is dedicated to all the ways you can appreciate art here on campus and around Jacksonville. There are good resources online if you want to improve your ability as an artist. The YouTube channel Proco is good if you want to learn about the fundamentals of drawing the human body. The channel is run by Stan Prokopenko, and he has a series on drawing the human head, gesture drawing, on figure drawing, drawing and shading. Angles. He also Hopefully features professional artists on many of his We're videos who give advice and tips on different aspects of art. Of he also has a website called Proco.com where you can view more art lessons and they track your progress. At UNF, diversity thrives, not only in the classroom, but also in the amount of student clubs showcased through the claws around campus. Each distinctive claw etched onto the sidewalk symbolizes a unique club that calls UNF home, which with each club given the creative freedom to design and paint their claw, these colorful imprints form an engaging path from the arena parking garage behind the Student Union Center to the Brooks College of Health. If you haven't walked this pathway yet, you're missing out on a fun and for unforgettable experience that truly captures the spirit of UNF's inclusive community. If you're looking for an, a place to appreciate art on campus, then look no farther than the UNF Gallery of Art. Established in 1981, this gallery stands as a beacon of creativity and education on campus. Nestled in the Founders Hall, the gallery showcases a diverse array of student, faculty, and renowned artist works, fostering cross-disciplinary dialogue and enriching the university experience. Don't miss out on this cultural gem, located conveniently next to the Peace Plaza. The Loomis head method is a commonly used method to draw the human head. Reporter Jennifer Gold will be teaching you how to draw a Loomis head. Hey guys, in this video I'll be teaching you all how to draw the Loomis head method, which is a way to draw the human head. First, you start with a circle, which represents the cranium. Then you draw an oval inside the circle, which is about two-thirds the height of the head. The width of the circle depends on how far the head is tilted. This is supposed to represent the side of the head. Next, you draw the axis line. Uh, that indicates whether the head is tilted up, down, or is completely straight. This one I'll do it tilted slightly, uh, slightly up. And then you draw um, a line indicating the middle of the face plane. Line for the middle of this oval and a line from the bottom of this oval indicating where marking where the bottom of the nose would be. Then you draw the line for the chin about the same height as the line, uh, the height between these two lines draw the line indicating that end of the face, the jaw, the chin, and then you draw the line from this point to this point to indicate the rhythm 
of the ear to the chin and the neck And that's basically the Loomis head method. It's not completely proportionate, but that's what all the steps are. Jennifer Gould, Inside Swoop. If you enjoy pottery, but prefer the painting part over the actual sculpting, then doing dishes is the place for you. Choose from a wide selection of different sculptures to paint. Whatever your interests are, they've got you covered. Then choose whatever paint colors you want and let your creativity fly. Wait a week for your creation to be glazed and fired and then enjoy your masterpiece. They are normally open Tuesday through Sunday, but extend their hours to seven days a week during the summer and the month of December. Check out Doing Dishes on 5619 San Jose Boulevard. Skincare and beauty products can be expensive, so why not make your own? You're gonna need a cup of coconut oil, two cups of granulated sugar, 40 to 50 drops of an essential oil of your choice, and a mason jar. Mix together the coconut oil and sugar until you get a grainy paste texture. Then just add in the essential oil, put it onto your mason jar. You can also add in some food coloring if you wanna have a little more fun. And voila, you have a body scrub quickly and easily made from household items. Well, that's another edition of Inside Swoop. Tune in next time for some more campus information. I'm Kaylee Snyder. Thank you for joining me on Inside Swoop.